an option that's out there that we still like to get out and do a little bit of role playing. Uh, the simulator is two dimensional, this is three dimensional. When you're working with live bodies, you get the emotion, you get the facial expressions, you get the body language. It just adds an extra element that you might not get in the simulator. Um, this training is in no way meant to be excuse making or minimizing current issues in law enforcement, uh, especially what's going on around the country. There are still far too many incidents where deadly force happens under questionable circumstances, especially in the minority communities. Uh, we recently did very similar training for all of our staff, uh, much like what you're going to go through tonight, and de-escalation was emphasized. That's the current training focus across the country is how do we de-escalate and not get to the point where deadly force has to be used. So that we realize that too many people are getting shot on both sides of the equation. You know, we look at the videos on the national scene when they happen, and I guarantee you, uh, a lot of the cops in this room have looked at this video and said, oh damn, that wasn't a good shoot. You know, we see that stuff too. This is not to take away from the fact that law enforcement needs to police itself and take care of our own issues. We need to be better trained. We need to uh, be ready to de-escalate and get a real feel of what's going on and not go into it with an open perception. But it is a challenge in the field. If you go to a house nine times and you get called an mf -er and you get into a physical fight every time, that tenth time you go to that house, the hairs on your back and your neck are going to be up, you're going to be ready for a fight. And it's the same situation in different parts of cities. You go into a certain part of the city, you know you're going to get physically assaulted, there's going to be a fight, there's going to be guns, you know your hackles are going to be raised a little bit on that, you're going to be ready for it. And the hallway scenario is 100% accurate of what these officers are dealing with on the streets every day. They go to a disturbance, there's 20 people running around with their cell phones trying to get their five minutes of YouTube fame. You know, maybe they can sell it to the media, or whatever, or they're going to post it on Facebook. Our video, videos of our officers show up on Facebook all the time, doing nothing most of the time, but people love to get that little moment of fame, and it's behind their own narrative and not the actual facts of the case.